Would you believe it if someone claimed that black people are superior? Labeling one group as superior and another as inferior is a flaw in our social structure. However, when examining genetics, certain factors can contribute to differences. Nature has favored black people with exceptional genes, leading to their prominence in various domains such as sports, wrestling, and bodybuilding. But what specific factors contribute to their genetic superiority? Let's find out. The Black History Archives Black individuals worldwide consistently excel in various domains, from sports like basketball and bodybuilding to physical attractiveness. This has fueled curiosity about whether a genetic factor contributes to their dominance in these areas. The reality is indeed rooted in the presence of superior genes within the black community. In sports, black athletes often stand out for their exceptional performance. Whether it's the electrifying moves on the basketball court or the awe-inspiring feats in bodybuilding competitions, the prowess of black individuals has left many in awe. While talent, training, and dedication play crucial roles, the genetic foundation is equally significant. Genetically speaking, specific factors contribute to the athletic prowess of black individuals. ACTN3, a gene influencing power generation, is a key player in this genetic game. The R allele of ACTN3 is prevalent among West Africans, allowing individuals to produce significant power and force. This genetic advantage sheds light on why black individuals excel in sports that demand explosive movements, such as sprinting, basketball, and American football. Moving beyond the world of sports, the genetic story unfolds in the arena of bodybuilding. Here, myostatin mutations take center stage. Myostatin is a protein hormone that regulates muscle growth, and mutations in the myostatin genes of black individuals have been identified. These mutations reduce myostatin production, allowing for muscle hypertrophy, the potential to develop and maintain large, strong muscles. This genetic advantage explains why individuals of sub-Saharan African descent often dominate in bodybuilding and other strength-based sports. However, the genetic edge extends beyond the physical prowess in sports and bodybuilding. Regarding physical attractiveness, black individuals often radiate a unique and appealing aura. The myostatin mutations contributing to muscular physiques also play a role. Reduced myostatin allows for a sculpted physique that adds to the overall appeal. Additionally, androgen receptors, activated by hormones like testosterone, play a significant role in muscle growth. Research indicates that individuals of African descent tend to have higher androgen receptor sensitivity compared to other populations. Discuss these genetic advantages in detail to see where nature has blessed black people. Genetic diversity is real when it comes to the black community. We're talking about the kind of diversity that puts a spotlight on Africa, the motherland of humanity, with a hopping 1.4 billion people. It's like a genetic carnival where the main show features traits that range from the towering Dinka folks in South Sudan to the pint-sized Mbuti people in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Let's break it down. Africa isn't just a continent, it's a genetic treasure trove. It's not just about skin tones and hair textures, it's about genetics, which includes everyone from the broad-shouldered Maasai in Kenya to the lean and mean Sam people in Namibia. Now, don't think all black folks share the same DNA sequence. That's not how it goes. In the genetic world, that ensemble is the black community and each DNA strand brings its flavor. Stroll through Africa and you'll see genetics playing the lead role. In Nigeria, you've got the Yoruba people flaunting their melanin-rich skin like it's a fashion statement. Meanwhile, the Nubians in Sudan turn heads with their distinct facial features that scream individuality. But let's not forget the poison people. They're like the genetic heroes, showing off traits that make you do a double take. From their unique click languages to their adapted immune systems, the Khoisan are the rebels of the genetic landscape. Now, when we say black superiority, we're not talking about conquering others. We're talking about conquering the genetic game. It's fascinating how genetics tell a story. And in Africa, it's a tale of resilience, adaptability, and pure awesomeness. Take the Zulu warriors in South Africa, genetically wired for battle and courage. Their DNA is like a superhero origin story, creating warriors who don't just fight, they conquer. 
But let's not get it twisted. Genetic diversity isn't just about physical appearances. It's the secret behind the intellectual prowess of the black community. The ancient wisdom of the Dogon people in Mali, the mathematical genius of the Ashanti in Ghana. It's all written in the genetic code. So the next time someone tries to put the black community in a genetic box, hit them with the truth. Diversity is their strength. It's not about fitting a mold, but breaking it and creating a new narrative. But does natural selection play a role in this? Here's a reminder to please support us so we can make more videos for you by subscribing to our channel and giving the video a like. We want to build a strong community and we need your support. Let's continue now. Natural selection is like the architect of genetic resilience and in the black community, it's been busy shaping some serious superpowers. Check this out. Sickle cell traits among West Africans aren't just a genetic quirk. It's the result of Mother Nature playing defense against the malaria epidemic. Individuals rocking these traits have a built-in defense system against malaria, making them the genetic avengers of the African landscape. Survival of the fittest, it's more like the survival of the genetically wise. But that's not where natural selection takes a breather. Ever wonder why black athletes dominate the playing field with their athleticism and explosive moves? Thank Natural Selection for that VIP pass to the world of genetic athleticism. Let's break it down. It's not just about hitting the gym. It's about hitting the genetic jackpot. Natural Selection has curated a genetic playlist for black individuals, and it's all about those muscle fibers. Fast twitch muscles? Check. Quick reflexes? Double check. It's like having a genetic cheat code for sports excellence. Now, we're not saying all black folks are Olympic contenders, but let's give credit where it's due. Natural Selection has sprinkled some athletic stardust in the genetic mix. It's not about superiority. It's about having a genetic edge that's been fine-tuned over generations. But what is so special about black people's genes? Genetics isn't just a spectator in the world of sports. It's the game changer. And one gene, ACTN3, is like a creator of athletic prowess. We're talking about a gene that's not just in the game, it's in a league of its own regarding power generation. Now comes that R. Alelo, the power-packed superhero of the genetic arena. This Alelo isn't just a casual player, it's why some individuals can have significant power and force. We're not talking about a light jaw, but about explosive movements, the kind you need in sports that demand serious power. Now comes another reason why black people should consider themselves blessed. And that is myostatin mutations. Genetic secrets are like the architects of sculpted physiques. And when it comes to black individuals, myostatin mutations are the blueprint for strength. Myostatin, the muscle growth referee, usually keeps muscles in check. These mutations hit the brakes on myostatin production. Less myostatin means a green light for muscle hypertrophy, the kind that gives you a ticket to the big leagues of bodybuilding. It's not just about hitting the gym. It's about having a genetic advantage that lets you carve out muscles like Michelangelo with a chisel. Sub-Saharan African descent takes the genetic spotlight here. Reduced myostatin doesn't mean less muscle, but more potential for large, robust muscles. That genetic advantage explains why black individuals flex their muscles and dominate in bodybuilding and strength-based sports. But wait, there's more to the genetic story. Androgen receptors are the gatekeepers to muscle growth, activated by the powerhouse hormone, testosterone. Here's where it gets interesting. Individuals of African descent are packing higher androgen receptor sensitivity compared to other populations. This heightened sensitivity isn't just for show. It's the reason behind black individuals' rapid and efficient muscle development. But what proves black people are stronger? In the world of bodybuilding, the title of Mr. Olympia is the pinnacle of achievement, and two extraordinary athletes have carved their names into history by clinching the prestigious title not once, not twice, but an astounding eight times each. Lee Haney and Ronnie Coleman stand as giants in bodybuilding, sharing the honor of being bodybuilders with the most Mr. Olympia titles. Lee Haney's reign of dominance spanned from 1984 to 1991 an era where his sculpted physique and unparalleled dedication to the sport propelled him to victory year after year. Fast forward to the late 90s and early 2000s and enter Ronnie Coleman, a powerhouse of muscle and determination. 
From 1998 to 2005, Coleman asserted his dominance in the Mr. Olympia competition, matching Haney's record of eight victories. His sheer size, strength, and flawless execution of poses made him a force to be reckoned with on the bodybuilding stage. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Both Lee Haney and Ronnie Coleman share a common trait that goes beyond their remarkable achievements in bodybuilding. They are both black athletes, and this fact has sparked conversations about the potential influence of genetics on their success. This confirms that genetics plays a role in making black people the leaders in every domain. Do you think the black people are blessed? What are your thoughts about nature giving special treatment to black people? Let us know in the comments section. What edge have you seen black people getting because of their genes? Would you like us to make more videos? If yes, please support us by subscribing to the Black History Archives and clicking the bell icon. You can check out more videos on our channel too.